after the game one defeat i got interviewed by a reporter saying that the loss are what greats are made of on you guys i hope your day is going well i'll be playing game two against the orlando magic i'll be showcasing all the highlights of game two how i got my rating my 100 teammate rating i'll be showing defense highlights um, even though i didn't get any blocks like official blocks i still show my impacted shots my defensive sequences for example this one right here is hard to guard you got maurice spates that's able to knock down the pick and pop and you got dennis smith jr on the orlando magic I don't know how Dennis Smith ended up on the Orlando Magic, but <laughs> I'll have to do some research and I'll show it to you guys in my next video. Look at Dennis Smith Jr. dunking on me. Rookie on rookie crime right there. So now I'm in the post against Maurice Spates. Beautiful post move and I get the nice layup. I'm so sorry if I haven't been uploading the one frequently. I've been at work so much that I didn't have time. I look at that block, boy. <laughs> But towards the end of the week, I won't be at work. I'll be having free time to be uploading the one and more ultimate team. Look at Devin Booker going inside, doing the Kobe fist pump. <laughs> so in the first quarter, it is a close game. 18 to 15 so far. I avoid the block. I move to the side. If you don't know in this game, you could pick which side you want to do your layups on. So that is what I did there. And look at that three-point shot by Dennis Smith Jr. And that's what the comeback kid is all about. I have to really see how he got on the Orlando Magic. Who did the Orlando Magic draft this year? I'm not even sure. Maybe they took Dennis Smith over him. I don't even know. Or it's probably because I landed in Phoenix. No, that doesn't make any sense. They didn't even trade Josh Josh Jackson for me. They traded um they traded some scrub. So they have Josh Jackson and myself on the team. So I, I really gotta look. That's interesting. So Dennis Smith pulls up for three. He misses. We get the rebound. We're gonna push the basketball. Devin Booker is gonna go all the way. Nice layup. We finally take the lead after that layup. Speaking of highlights, look at Jonathan Simmons with the sick dunk. I like what the Spurs did in real life. They let Jonathan Simmons go so that he could get a better contract elsewhere. And he got signed to the Orlando Magic. He got a multi-year contract with the Orlando Magic thanks to the Spurs. So that was a very great move. So to end the first quarter, we have another pick and roll situation. And I'm on the defensive side. It's very hard to guard a pick and roll as a big man. You really have to think. You have to see if your teammate's going to go under the screen or over the screen. On this game, it doesn't show if it's going to go under or over. Like on 2K, it shows switch, go under or go over. But on this game, it doesn't show it. So you have to guess. And it doesn't help that Smith is super athletic and Spades can shoot and get into the paint. So you really got to pick your poison. It's really hard as a big because you're the last line of defense. And speaking of defense, look at this block, boy. That was nice. So with that block, it leads to a break. And the crowd is getting into it. What I like about this game is that they actually run plays for you. So they space the floor for me as a rookie on my second game. I look at my trace flashing on the left side as I am posting up. This is another beautifully executed play. A lot of movement, a lot of cutting. Look how he goes to the corner. I set a screen. I roll into the paint. And we get a basket. I really love how the plays are ran in this game. There's a lot of spacing, a lot of movement. The speeds of the players are just right. So you won't see bigs running as fast as point guards or moving as fast as guards in terms of lateral quickness on defense. There's nothing too crazy, nothing game breaking. So it's, that's good to see. Well, from what I've seen so far, <laughs> beautiful post position. Oh, facial on Spades. Spades has been giving us a hard time in the pick and roll, so we had to get him back. And speaking of pick and roll, I'm putting Spades in a pick and roll situation. I'm rolling to the rim. They bring the help defense, and I get another put back. 
It's only my second game and I'm beasting on the boards. I'm trying to guard everybody because our team keeps breaking down defensively, but I can't do everything. This is another screen play. They go into the corner. I keep moving. I got a little midi. My mid-range rating right now is at a 74. I'll be upgrading that eventually, but it's not my main priority. My main priority is to upgrade my defense because as a big, I really need to help my squad defensively because my guards keep getting owned. <laughs> so I always need to cover. Notice how in this play, they didn't have an option to pass it to Devin Booker. That wasn't the main play, but I saw that was the best option available. The play wanted me to pass it into the corner, but I didn't want to do that because Devin Booker had a mismatch in the lane. And now I get another offensive rebound and a nice putback. So now we are down by 7 points. I'm going to try to run another screen and roll. Devin Booker is going all the way. The good thing about my player is that he has a mid-range shot, so their bigs has to stay with me. That's why Devin Booger has a lane. If I didn't have a mid-range shot, it would be clogged. I got space for the rebound. Look how high I jumped and how quickly I got the board. That felt good. And by that, I mean you could feel the weight of your player. If it's a heavy player getting a rebound compared to a guard, like if you made a guard in this game and you get a rebound, it feels different than if you have a big and you get a rebound. Especially if you box out and you get a board, it feels really great. I don't know how to explain it, you just feel dominant. Oh my goodness, look at that brick wall. <laughs> Brandon Knight got owned and now I have to cover him. Oh my gosh, that was, not <laughs> that was hilarious. Speaking of screens, watch Brevin Knight get owned on the screen and they get a three-pointer. Yo, Brandon Knight is getting owned on these screens. <laughs> and to end the third quarter, fade away. What's funny is that I always keep the game close, but then they sub me out and I always come back and we're always down by double digits. So now they sub me back in with five minutes left in the game and we're down by 13. So I get the rebound, push the basketball, and we get a nice putback. Marquise Chris. Nice post-up position. They're already bringing a double team. It's only my second game in the NBA, and I'm already getting double team. Can you guys imagine once I upgrade my player to the max, how beastly it will be? Devin Booker going into the lane. I got the board. I got your back, boy. Notice the timing of my jumps and the positioning of my player. I always move him. I try to get into the best position that I can. Oh, that was a nice block by Marquise. Watch this replay right here. Dennis Smith Jr. getting blocked. So three minutes left in the game. It's time to improve my stats. Look at this face-up move. But I get blocked. Biombo owns me. But once I upgrade my stats, I'll be able to dunk on him. I can't wait till I upgrade my stats. And if I do those face-up moves into the dunks, it's going to be like a young Amari Stoudemire. It's going to be so sick. So I get the rebound. I'm going to push all the way coast to coast with no stamina. Look at this. I'm trying my best. That's what you call literally giving 110%. <laughs> But even though I'm trying my best, we're still losing these games, man. We probably need Steve Nash or Jesus or something <laughs> to come back and beat these teams. So in the loss, I think I got 25 points and 12 rebounds. Those are crazy numbers. I think I'll be calling this the young Amari Stoudemire or something. <laughs> Amari Stoudemire slash Charles Barkley since they're both in Phoenix. If you guys are enjoying this journey of my power forward athletic, leave the feedback, guys. I really appreciate it.